Liberty Bell to freedom for all men. <laughs> man, it has been a long time, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a great and fantastic day. We are back with Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I didn't mention that during my episode, but I did mention that on my YouTube community page, as well as on my Discord. For those of you guys who want to join my Discord, you're welcome to. The link is in the description down below. But the reason why I took a little break was because it was the end of Season 3. And uh, I wanted to, I wanted to binge it. I want, I want to binge season four because I thought, you know, I was told originally when I started the show as well that I should binge the whole show. That really didn't work out. I haven't binged the whole show, but because of how great season three was, and because everyone told me that season four is even better, or well, people have said season three has higher peaks, but season four is more consistent. If you, by the way, if you're watching this, let me know. Obviously, don't spoil like, oh yeah, season four because of X, Y, and Z. Just tell me, what what season do you prefer the most? Like, what's your season order? Rank all the four seasons for me if you're watching this right now. Before you know, we start in the video, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna start the video for another minute or two. So while I'm just talking, you know, you don't have to listen to me. Just type or you know type what your season order is because I'm very interested. I, I'm very intrigued about that. You know, so if if you can, please do so. Um, don't be lazy with that, alright? Just just do it, alright? Just tell me your season order. You don't have to go into detail. Just write 4, 3, 1, 1, 2, or, well, 1, 1, 2. Just, just write the order. I just, you, you can leave it at that. Like, if you want to be extra neat, give me your justifications. But the reason why we took a, the reason why I took a, I think at this point it's been like a month long break, um, is quite frankly because I want to binge season 4. I'm not able to binge season 4 just yet, but I didn't want to wait too much longer. But, the positive news is that I will be able to binge season 4 the second the month is over. So for now, for now, there'll be, I don't actually know how long season 4 is in all honesty, so maybe by the time I can actually binge it properly, I don't like, watch everything, I don't know, 30 episodes in like, 4, 5 days or so, but I can't do that just yet, I don't have that kind of time just yet, but, the point I'm trying to make is this. There'll be six episodes this week. Uh, I've got exams coming up next week and then the week after that. So there won't really be videos. Um, I'm, maybe I'll be able to squeeze in like one episode you know, during that week. But again, that's going to be mainly revision time for me. Um, but after my exams, right? After I finish those exams, we'll finish the show within a week. Like that's, that's straight up what I'm saying. Like After my exams are over, which finish at the end of this month, the first week of next month will binge this hardcore. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to upload all of them in a week, but I'm definitely going to you know, watch all of them in a week. Uh, but as I said, this week we're doing six episodes, three episodes on Monday, and then I think it's one episode on Friday, Saturday, Sunday each. Again, I do have a schedule. The schedule is on the community post, um, the community page. I know, it, I know the thing with the community page is that you know, if you're subscribed to me, uh, it doesn't actually show up in your like, subscription feed or anything. It shows up on like your YouTube homepage, so it's it's weird like that. So you'd you have to make most of the time manually check it. So of course a lot of people would have missed that. Um, but I do I would say like if you're watching my videos and you want to be up to date, either join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, or uh, check the community page um, maybe once a week or so. Like if you really if you're really wondering like where when is X, Y, and Z coming up. If I do know I will post it in the community page. I have been doing so for like the last month or so. So yeah, that's certainly something that you might be you, you, you might wanna take into consideration. We do have a little Discord. Not much Legend of Galactic Hero talk going on in all honesty. Um besides that like the, all the Discords are moderately sized but like, like the LOTGH one is relatively small. It's pretty much it's been it's been quite active, honestly. We've had a few new members, so it's been quite active for that reason. But like because I haven't uploaded, it hasn't really been active again. So that's my fault, of course. But as I said, you are welcome to join. You know, we, we don't bite. Some of us don't. But that's a different story. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. So a new season, a new season. Season three was outstanding. Season three actually put the show. Uh, you know the thing is right. It, it's always it, it's always easy to say, oh, because something shocked you, or because like something ha something that you didn't expect to happen, that that like bums the show up for you. It's easy to say that, but that's not really why season three was that good. 
yes, young Steph was extremely, extremely good. Like, it was handled extremely well. And seeing, like, a main character like that die was very, very shocking. It reminds me, like... Yeah, I, don't, I, I can't talk about other shows without spoiling now, you know, so, so I, I bet I'm not, but like, forget the ice cream truck, right, Gruntilda's Lair, but, uh, like, two of my other favourite shows, one is a TV show, I actually did a review for it recently, um, here, it's not a mess, but it looks like a mess on camera, it's just so weird, like, like, I just got it cut, like, this week, and it, it just looks a mess on camera, but it's not when I look in the mirror, so it's, it's just because, like, the camera's up here, and I'm, like, down here, so it, it just looks like, it looks so weird, like, usually, like, usually I like, see a face like that, pretty much, so, like, at that angle, pretty much, or that angle, that angle, pretty much, it just looks weird. Anyway, uh, the part I was trying to make is that, you know, when I look, when I think of like some of my favorite stories, two that come to mind, both of them medieval in a way. Um, I think that should give it a way. Like one is an anime, one is a TV show, um, more so books really. Um, but like when I think of like two of my favorite things ever, they always have shocking moments. But it's not the shocking moments that really propel a show. Higher and a higher on a list. Like, you know, I do have an actual list of things, um, but it's more so how it all fits together. And I've said this about Legend of the Galactic Heroes a few times now, but I'll say it once more because it's the style of his and so this is going to be quite a long opening, I guess. But for me, LOTJ has always been one of those shows where it's either going to be a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, if you want to call it 10 out of 10, right? I don't really give shows a 10 out of 10 for reasons, because I don't think anything is perfect. I think there's flaws in everything. But, you know, average rating, 10 out of 10, right? I, I, for me, I always said that, for me, LTHS could either be a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, because it, set, it sets up so much um, that it all has to come... It all has to come together nicely. And if it doesn't come together nicely, it will have been a massive waste of time. And that is why... Uh, it will be at that point a 1 out of 10 for me and for me I've always said this I know a lot of people don't agree with this I know a lot of people don't think like that at all but I do um, that an ending of a show an ending of a series an ending of anything a book a manga anime TV show anything if the ending is bad this show automatically drops in quality even if I like enjoyed every single episode or every single chapter every single anything except the last the, the very last page, you know, the very last episode, the show will still drop. Because for me, the way I look at it is, there is a pay, uh, you're watching a journey, and if the payoff isn't great, then, you know, there's no point. And that's the way I look at it. Like, like that's why, I, li I like season three that much, because it seemed like the payoff was there. The payoff for that story, for it, was there. There's still obviously multiple story threads that are going on that have been introduced as well. So we'll see how it all concludes. But the story thread that was young concluded as well as continued. And it concluded in a way where I thought it was satisfying. It wasn't disappointing. Um, it subverted my expectations, but in a good way. Um, and it's still not over, especially you know, with the FPA still going on, with uh, Julian as well and everything. So they said it's our story is still going on, but it's also concluded. So I, for me, I could say like season three concluded one chapter, and a chapter was so good that I, and the conclusion of that specific chapter was so good that it has propelled the show to a point where I would I think officially I gave it like a ninety two uh, out of a hundred so far, um, which I think my I'm not sure. Like I forgot an anime list. It's in the description now. Like I actually. When I, when I rate a show, like, I'm not like one of those people, oh yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10. I, actually, I don't give shows 10 out of 10s in the first place, because I think there's always... But I always, uh, but, but I always go into, like, detail. Like, I always, like, what think about it, like, properly. So if you go on my anime list, I actually put a lot of thought into this. Not just how much I enjoyed something, but also how much I think other people will enjoy it as well. But it, primarily it comes down to my enjoyment, um, and what worked and what didn't. Um... So, so, like, my anime list is very much me thinking about it very, you know, very, very hard and very long, all right? And currently, this show is tied for my number one favorite show. Currently. 
We don't know. Season four, people have been saying, oh, 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 oh season four is like amazing. It's even like, better than season three. I'm like, all consistent. Sure it is, mate. <laughs> sure it is, mate. Sure it is, mate. Anyway, folks. Anyway, folks. You know what? At this point, I want to give a shout out to Cunning Linguist, uh, Nick. If you're watching this, Nick, I know you're currently not watching my reactions anymore because I took too long. And you were like, yeah, I can't be bothered anymore. Uh, but he's the one that got me into this show. He's the one that's been constantly begging, bugging me like for about a year or so before I started LOTJ. He's like, yo, you should watch LOTJ, bro. You should watch LOTJ, bro. You should watch LOTJ, bro. Like, and he was, he said, I remember him saying, actually, yeah. I, I said, it's going to be a long intro. It's the beginning of season four. But I remember him saying something along the lines of, uh, because uh, because I, I, I was like all right you've 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 told me for a year now or so to watch lotj right if i watch this now and it's not as good as you said i will have wasted my time on you uh, so no i said i will have wasted you, you will have wasted all that time trying to convince me and he responded to me saying something along the lines of uh if you don't like lot if by the, if by the time you finish lotj you don't like the show I would have wasted my time on you. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, oh damn. And like, Nick is like the person, that, he's the person who I would consider to know the most animes. And probably doesn't, like he's probably at the top five or so in terms of like the Discord. Um, he's a Discord member. Um, he also has a YouTube channel based uh, with the name Cunning Linguist. He doesn't really post on there anymore, but like he did like Detective Conan reactions and a little bit of Toriko reaction for like three or four months or so, but then he just stopped. Um, I always say he's gonna come back and whatnot, but you know, he's like one of those people that like watches like a thousand different shows, and he just knows so much. So when he says like something is his favorite, you kind of listen to it. Like, yeah, that's that's the kind of person. So that now you know, folks. Now you know. Anyway, anyway, twelve minutes in, and we haven't even started the episode. Let's just go right. Let's just get started, shall we? Let's just get started, shall we? Let's just get started for Mein Kaiser, as you all know. Sieg Kaiser Reinhardt. What an interesting plot with Reintel as well and everything. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that all plays out, you know. Regardless, folks. Regardless, folks. Regardless, folks. I hope we're all having a good, a fantastic day. Let us make sure right at the beginning. Let's just make sure subtitles. I don't think I have to. Yeah, I don't have to put them on there. Hard subs, not soft subs. Perfect. Well, in that case, folks, we are going to get started in three, two, one. Man, man, stop showing me young, bro. <laughs> then had the shot from the ending. In in a way. Has to be internal now. Well, of course not. It's history after all. Internal conflict. You've got you've had all the external ones, now you've got the internal ones. Just for you just so you know, I have listened to all openings. I have so I know this one. Times it gets so hard without you. Ah man, I've I, I've been listening to opening two, especially the, the most Sea of Stars. No, Sea of Stars is the first one. What's the second one? Shoot, Sky Skies of Love. That's what it is. I've been I, I've been listening to that nonstop actually. It's the second one. I just love it. I just love it. All right. Something like I'm flooding into my heart. And I've actually been watch. I've been listening to like the endings as well. If you, 
I noticed that like them all focused on Julian. So I guess he could have said, "Oh yeah, Young was gonna die because Young isn't at the ending." You know, the, the opening is always Reinhardt. The ending is always the FPA, but it's never really been Young. It's always been Julian. I don't think I've actually listened to the fourth ending though, because I. I, I was just told that like the fourth opening doesn't have a spoiler, so I watched that. I know, sorry, I probably should have waited, but I'm not a patient person. <laughs> of course, of course. Alright. Alright, cool. The people won't really... A fair point, to be fair. But he conquered the universe of the people! I, I, if I conquered everything! If I conquered the universe, I'd be like... I can do whatever I want. Like, if you guys don't, if the people don't acknowledge my, don't acknowledge my greatness. And I, and I, and that point is like, what can you do? <laughs> One year. Are they shipping them to? Cause he's always been there, and now he's got nothing to do, basically. Yeah, I met Amaya and Ryan at our last time they spoke. Alright. Like, if you have no enemies... Uh, like all the conflict will be internal has to be I don't see Julian like I'm I'm, I'm sorry I love you Julian bro but no I <laughs> just no mm, sure does been about a year and a half since I started Look at him, so young, full of ambition. Yeah, yeah, we saw. Of course. Of course. Yeah, he's come such a long way. In candlelight, that's where that's where deep where the most plots are made. It's always in candlelight. Back before they had that awesome, <laughs> that awesome coats and whatnot. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. And they just sent some guy in. 
to beat him up. Oh boy. Oh boy. These torturers, where, where do you find them? Where do you find them? I, I don't know what I would like to be a torturer. I don't know. It's a difficult question. <laughs> Where do you find these scumbags? Ah, I think I would like to be a torturer. This is just for one day. I think I would also like to be tortured for just one day. Just, for just one day. He's not gonna beg. It just dodges it. Ah, of course, electric. It is. That's not gonna happen. Oh, take him up! Oh, I thought he was gonna not. Woo! Oh! Snake Charmers! Ah, oh, here, 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 calm. It's only punched him in the face. Look at him! Licking the boots of his master. Oh my. Oh my. Nah. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? This guy just got hit with an electric whip and. Uh, even then. What can that punch really. Okay. And uh, to the face, that's different. This guy's hurt his hand. <laughs> He's not gonna do that. Oh boy! Oh, he's he's nah nah nah. Ha ha ha! Ah, a whip! Ah, what happened to? All right, oh the chains. Oh boy. Smashed up face. Oh, just a judo throw. Ho ho ho. I saw that coming. Well, I think we all saw that coming. No. Yeah. Backstreet Boys! <laughs> Backstreet Boys! Three different hairs of everything just coming in like, yo. Mm. Uh huh. Coming in there like that, last second, everything. Alright. Good. Ha <laughs> good. 
Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Cause he's got that. It's, it's cause he's got that. You know, the, the blue. Cool. Cool. I know that. I know that issue of sitting too much. Neat. That's one way to get the people's uh, people on your side. Yep, yeah. that's one way to get the people on your side. That is such a weird tablet. I know this came up before tablets ever came up, but if that's the future of tablets, I don't want tablets. Like I, I, I'm not even an i, I'm not even an Apple fan, but iPad looks better. Of course, <laughs> of course, of course, yeah, yeah. No oh, boy. Let's see how he can mess things up. He just doesn't care. Look at that face. He's like, whatever, fam. <laughs> he doesn't care. That's what I'm saying. No shame. And it's most... Look at him trying to like weasel himself in. Me. This guy's like, mm, trying to weasel himself in. Look at, look at that smile too, fam. <laughs> of course, I, you could, a blind man could tell us a... A blind man could tell that he's up to something. Like, this guy has no shame at all. Of course he's up to something. Why on earth would he else, why, why else would he be here? This guy just wheedle himself into all these opportunities. You, yeah, yeah. Don't underestimate him. He survived up till now. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Alright. Well, I can't actually the next <laughs> It just kind of happened in a, in a way, honestly. Uh, I don't. We haven't really seen Overstein like ages. Like he appeared for like a brief second, and that's it. I like them. I like seeing them all in like a. I know, I know they were all. They already were in like a high position, but in a high position where it's not just their battle prowess that is necessary, but also like just their prowess in general. So you get to see them more as a person rather than just a, a general. You know if that makes sense. I hope that, I hope that message comes across. That is no. Ah. <laughs> my, my man is smooth. The man is smooth. No wonder he's married. Uh, exactly. He's smooth. The fanciest. Ooh, I thought the fanciest restaurant. Well, what about you? <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I would say that you probably give him the most happiness. That's it. If you're, if, what I'll say, if you're Kaiser, you can do what you want. Peace times are always nice. <laughs> Who doesn't like peace times? Oh boy, I've got why? No, I, I'm just having a bad feeling, aren't I? I've got. I don't know why. I know they're just walking, but. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I told you, that's setting that up. No, it doesn't take a genius to figure out, in all honesty, but still. It doesn't take a genius, I know, but still.
You know, I don't have a bad feeling. Light is already on. There's a light already on in the house. And here go oh no, here goes the rain. There's a light in the house already. Unless you've got like servants or something. No, well cut away, so I'm assuming this the AOK. -okay. He looks somber. Gloom. Yeah, and Kirchheis. You may have lost your best friend, but you still have two very good friends. Or is he thinking that the but both? I think that's that's. When will the rain stop? I like that. I like that. Is Meta Maya looking at What's significant? Yep. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! Ah! The premonition of a storm, and they have that face on it. Let's listen to the ending. No! Ah! Oh, no! And he disappears. Oh I, no! I've definitely heard this before. But I haven't seen it, I think. Ah, that is such a good e That's such a good ending. Honestly, that is better than the opening. I can't even say that. Someone who doesn't really listen to endings. Everyone's will is passing on. They're carrying their hopes and dreams. Well, <laughs> well, we clearly know that. What, oh. A universe. <laughs> I like that a lot. Let me just pause it here so I don't see the preview for the next episode. I like that a lot. Ah, premonition of a storm, eh? Premonition of a storm. What a great friggin' episode. What a great friggin' show, alright? Straight up. Damn it. But for like, how, the, how like, the last few episodes have gone... And now this episode too. <sighs> Ryan Tal. Uh huh. Uh huh. He was in essence the second most powerful person. Of course. Uh, of course. Of course. See the thing with. I. I the thing I like a lot, right, is that it feels like, uh, oh well, obviously, Reinhardt has always 
you know, Kirchhaz has always been his childhood friend and everything, right? By the way, as I said before, we're going to be watching Gaiden the second I finish. <laughs> like, once I finish this, we're going to be watching Gaiden, right? I know people have said it's not as good, but a lot of people that have watched LTG just haven't watched Gaiden. But you know what? I don't care. We're going to watch Gaiden afterwards. Um, but Kirchhaz has always, has always obviously been his... Uh, best friend. You know, he's always been his closest friend. You know, they knew each other since they were kids, right? But he still has two friends left. Uh, two people that serve under him, yes, but also two people that I think he considers his friend, like it, straight up. Um, they consider each other a friend, all three of them. Ryan Tyler is obviously always the most conflicted person because, you know, he's got certain He's got a certain way of thinking. Uh, his way of thinking isn't, you know, it's not bad. It's very, it's very fascinating, actually. It's very, very fascinating. He's one of the most fascinating characters, if I have to say, probably one of my favorite characters as well. Um, I don't know if, if I would put him above uh, Reinhardt, but I think after Reinhardt, it would be Royenthal. Um, you know, from the characters that are still alive in this show. I don't know whether, in terms of characters, I think I, I, I would put, like, Reinhardt, Young and then uh, Ryan Tyler in that order, top three. Oberstein would be somewhere up there as well because I I, I think he's I think he's very very interesting. Um, but but he's I don't, I don't even know what's gonna say now. But like like Ryan Tyler, because of his conflicting personality, I think he's just that interesting. And a lot of people prefer Young over uh, Reinhardt. I can understand that. I can fully understand that. But for me, I, I just feel closer to Reinhardt because he reminds me of myself um, quite a lot. Uh, we've actually had, I had that discussion yesterday actually. Um, but like ultimately, for me, the most important thing is having a legacy. Um, because I, I'm, I'm going to be dead soon, right? 50, 60, 70 years or so, maybe even sooner, maybe later. I'm going to be dead, right? And, and for me, the most important thing is being remembered. Uh, having my blood to carry on. Like, like those two things, uh, that's for me the most important thing. So that's, in a way, the, the way you can, the only way we can, the only ways you can really do that is if you make a mark in history. Not with reactions or anything, but you make a mark in history, all right? You, you make, you put a stamp there, like to say, yeah. Here is my place in history. I'm, I'm, I'm among like other famous people like Alexander the Great and so on and so forth, right? Um, and the ways you can do that is either by being a conqueror, being extremely good, or being extremely evil. That's really what it boils down to. Um, the path of evil is probably the easiest way, but the conquering path is probably the most difficult way. And look at Ryan, he's just uh, he conquered the universe, huh? I don't think I, can, I don't think I can conquer the world, but damn, he conquered the universe. Ah, but yeah, just because I can kind of relate to him, because I feel closer to him than Young, I prefer Reinhard to Young. That's really what it boils down to. Um, but like him and Young are very very close, and Rointal, he's all he's very very close to them as well. Like he for me is the most probably the most interesting character. That's what Rebel. He really is the most interesting character in my opinion. I think if he had like not more, not more screen time, but like if he had more, shoot, weight. Yeah, he has a lot of weight. But if he had a lot of, if he had a little bit more weight in terms of like the plot. Which it seemed like they're setting up for season four. If that's the case, I think he's going to rise and rise and might even become number one. But I feel like if he has a little bit more weight in the overall story, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear the beeping, the buzzing. My TV, for some reason. It's annoying. Ugh, let me turn it off. I can't, I can't even think right now. It's, it's that annoying. Please. Turn off. Anyway, yeah, okay. Is it gone? I can't tell now. Great, you know what? When you've, when you've heard a buzzing, for like you know, then it's like the blank noise, the white noise. Uh, when you hear, when you hear it for like five minutes, and then you turn, and then it's gone, but you still can't tell whether you know it's gone or not. That's what it feels like. And the worst part is that I've got a slight tinnitus on one ear. Um, I don't know if it's tinnitus or not, but it, it's you know, it, it, I've had a ringing for like five six years now 
which started because it was too lazy, but that's a different story. It's not that bad, you know, it's not bad at all, actually. I wouldn't even notice it or until like actually focus on it. And once I focus on it, it's like, damn it, go away. But like, I have to actually focus on it to hear the ringing. But I can definitely hear the ring. I can definitely still hear the ringing. So the TV, while, while it's turned off, must be something inside the TV that's going wrong. I might need to buy a new TV sooner or later. Um, but yeah, as I said, as I said, it looks like Ryan Tyler's going to have a much bigger plot point, plot story point in the story. And if that's the case, I'm all for that because I feel like he's going to turn out to be my favorite character. Um, because he's such, he's such an interesting character. That's like he's one of the most interesting characters. Like Poplan, for example, he's humorous in a, in a show where you don't really have that many humorous characters. Uh, you know, he's just that that difference, right? And Royntal, in a way as well, is like that difference, just in a different way. I mean, difference, yeah. But anyway, that was episode eighty-seven of LOTGH, folks, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you all. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next one, everybody, peace out and have a nice day.